Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Shankai. He made his first appearance in Special Marvel Edition, issue number 15, that was released in December 1973. He's also been referred to as the Master of Kung Fu, among many other aliases. And he's a Chinese-born male that stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighs 175 pounds, and has black hair with brown eyes. Now, Shankai has no superhuman powers, except on a few occasions where he was briefly empowered by external sources, such as the Phoenix Force. But generally speaking, he doesn't need it, because he's hands down the greatest living martial artist, if not the greatest kung fu practitioner of all time. Being trained from birth in various different martial arts, particularly Chinese fighting styles, and has been shown to stalemate Iron Fist, although Black Panther notes that Shankai is better. Now, through a combination of his extremely focused ki, as well as his peak physical conditioning, Shankai has reached a level of strength, speed, agility, endurance, and durability that maxes out the human potential, and in some instances seems to go a little beyond. He can throw lightning fast blows that can break most materials, including metals, as well as focus his key to deaden pain, as well as withstand physical impacts, and resist the effects of toxins in his bloodstream. Not to mention that in small bursts, he's quick enough to dodge gunfire and even catch bullets in midair, which I'm sure he despises because he's a master of all traditional martial arts weaponry. And if he doesn't feel like breaking a sweat when he's battling you, he can just quickly strike any of your pressure points to paralyze or even kill you, which would likely come in handy when he's battling with multiple foes at one time, including superhuman ones. Now, as I stated earlier, Shang Kai was born in China as the son of the criminal mastermind Shang Tzu, aka Fu Manchu. He received rigorous training in the focus of his mental and martial arts skills at his father's retreat, quickly becoming a brilliant student, but growing up unaware of his father's villainous nature. But when Shang Kai was 19, his dad sent him away on his first mission of assassination. The young martial artist assumed that his dad's enemies must have been evil, so he went along willingly, but he would soon find out the truth of his father's evil nature. Feeling deeply betrayed, he would then vow to take down his father and his organization, even going as far as to ally himself with his father's enemies. But Zheng Su was no slouch, because he would actually send various assassins to take down his son, including a brutal clone of Shang Kai that he made, simply known as Moving Shadow. But after many years of conflict and finally taking down his quote-unquote brother and briefly taking out his father, Shang Kai would spend some time retired from action. However, around the time period of Marvel's Civil War, he would return to the field, teaming up with various heroes and joining the Heroes for Hire squad, as well as Steve Rogers' Secret Avengers. From here, he would go on to have many different adventures, teaming up with various heroes around the world, such as Spider-Man, Silver Sable, and even Wolverine in the rough streets of Madripoor. Eventually, he would even prove to be an important part of the classic Avengers team, especially seeing as how the skills of the greatest martial artist on Earth would prove to be an indispensable skill. Now, due to his abilities and his influence on the Marvel Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Shang Kai a rating of 7, which is a master rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.